Hey guys, welcome to The Athletic Dive. This channel has all the information you will ever need to know about the NBA and NFL. And in today's video, we will discuss about NFL head coach and carousel, what jobs will become open, and who could fill them. But before starting the video, please hit and like the subscribe button. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So we'll start off by talking about the open jobs, and first up is the Jacksonville Jaguars. We know this is the big one. The Jags swung for the fences by hiring Urban Meyer just under a year ago, but it was the kind of swing where you lose control of the bat and smack yourself in the face. To say Meyer was a disaster is an insult to disasters. There's a waiting rock slide right now furiously writing me saying, don't you dare compare me to Urban Meyer. While it might surprise you to think that this job is desirable, it kinda is. Whoever walks into the situation essentially gets a blank slate. The QB situation is more or less solved with Trevor Lawrence, even if his rookie season has been underwhelming. And there is an opportunity to build using $71 million in cap space, the second most in the NFL. Next up are the Las Vegas Raiders. The midseason resignation of John Gruden opened up a job with a team that's already on the verge of being a playoff squad. The 8-7 Raiders, at the time of writing, have almost all the pieces that they need, with a solid quarterback in Derek Carr, an emerging young running back in Josh Jacobs, and a developing defense. There's definitely work to be done, but the Raiders have a lot of cap space to work with and could be a good coach away from making some noise. Next up, the job with a dead man walking, the Chicago Bears. The chances Matt Nagy remains in Chicago are so slim that he belongs in his category. On paper, Nagy's resume doesn't look that bad, but this is a man who took a talented team and found a way to make them play so far below their potential, it defied belief. Presumably, GM Ryan Pace will be out the door along with Nagy, turning over the direction of the Bears to people who understand the potential of Justin Fields and can work on building around the young quarterback. Two jobs that could become open, first up we've got the Minnesota Vikings. This is a question of how long the Vikings are comfortable with mediocrity. Zimmer has been with the team since 2014, and in those seven years, there's not a lot to show for it. Zimmer has kept his job this long by having a tendency to get Minnesota into the playoffs every other year, only to see all the promise get pulled away the next year. This will be the first year that the team has had back-to-back -back losing seasons with Zimmer at the helm, giving ownership more than enough cause to pull the trigger. I might be in the minority, but I like Rick Spielman as a GM. This team just needs a better in-game manager and someone who can maximize the talent on this team. Also, someone is ready to accept that Kirk Cousins is a stat-padding machine who can't lead a team to the Super Bowl, making it time to change direction at quarterback. Next up, the Denver Broncos. Vic Fangio was a favorite to be a mid-season firing before 2021 began, but an early win streak on the back of a solid defense saved him. Now the Broncos are a middling team, which is better than anyone expected, but perhaps not enough to justify keeping Fangio. We're entering the third season of his tenure, and unless Denver wins out, it will be three losing seasons in a row. That would normally be enough to justify firing a coach, but there's a chance he showed just enough this season to give himself another year. I think Denver should move on, largely because it's difficult to see what Fangio's vision for this team is. One potential NFL head coaching opening that would be a surprise are the Seattle Seahawks. Nothing is pointing to Seattle needing a new head coach, but maybe this is the time for Pete Carroll to move on. The 5-11 Seahawks are a mess, and a large part of that is being bitten on by the injury bug. But there's also been an ample friction between the organization and Russell Wilson. If rumors are true and Wilson wants to move on, what's the motivation for Carroll to stay? He's 70 years old, he's won a Super Bowl, and there's nothing left to prove. I know if I was in that position, I wouldn't want to hang around and put in the work into rebuilding a team when I could just chill and enjoy retirement. This feels like a huge turning point for the Seahawks. Yeah, there's a good chance everyone makes amends and returns in 2022, but I also think that there's a possibility we could see a full teardown in Seattle, and that begins with Carroll stepping down. Well guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to Athletic Dive, and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video. We'll see you guys next time.